case management is my priority right now. So I help them with IDs, birth certificates, social security cards, um, housing resources, houses for health care, whether it be mental health or whether it just be regular physical health, uh, assist with things like um, <clears throat> if they have to get registered for like signing up for LINK and uh, medical cards that, like that, uh, resources for the mental health connected them with Rosecrans or places like that just in case they need those services. Pray with them, cry with them, laugh with them, you know, just try to encourage them and uplift them as much as I can. Uh, to empower them to let them know that they're, they're seeing that sometimes they come in there so broken they don't know that they can do this or that. But to just be an encouragement and, a, and an example too, not just to say do this, this, but lead by example. So for me, even if one of the ladies come back and say, Miss Leona, thank you, I was mad at you yesterday, but thank you for helping me, it's worth it. It's just, to me, it's very rewarding. I love what I do. And I really believe that this is where God wants me to, to serve right now. So a lot of times they're in denial about whether they need the, the services of that program and they're going to be resistant. Miss Dorothy, she wanted to leave. She was waiting to be cleared from quarantine. And I said, she says, I'm going to leave. I said, no, you're not. Sit down. <laughs> and she says, well, no, I can't do this. And that's when I, I gave her Philippians 4.13. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And she decided to stay. And I'm so happy that she did decide to stay. So that was very encouraging just to know that she was willing and she recognized that she was broken and she needed the help. But I think a lot of the ladies, I know from talking to a lot of them is that they come in and they don't realize their value or their worth. And I try to encourage them to know that you're valuable. God loves you and I, and I always tell them I love them. I tell them every time I talk to them, I love you. And they said, I get a little bit choked up, but anyway, <clears throat> I always tell them that I love them. And I mean it, when I tell them I love them, I do. Um, and they really, they really feel better and feel that they're loved because they probably haven't heard it or they haven't heard it that much or, you know, so it makes a whole lot of difference. But I just always let them know, I love you, but I'm structured and I believe in rules and policies. You know, I will give you grace, but I'm also going to try to look out for what's best for you.